Japan's decision to end negative interest rates and its implications for the U.S. economy. Japan's recent announcement to terminate its negative interest rate policy has raised concerns about its potential impact on the U.S. economy. This decision by the Bank of Japan, expected to take effect in 2024, could have significant implications for U.S. Treasuries. To fully comprehend the consequences, it is essential to revisit the events leading up to this decision and understand the context in which it was made. Background In 2016, the U.S. economy was experiencing a period of growth, and the Federal Reserve became concerned about the possibility of inflation surpassing the desired rate. To address this concern, the Federal Reserve gradually increased interest rates, which were close to zero at the time. In contrast, Japan was grappling with negative inflation and falling prices, which hindered economic growth and discouraged consumer spending. In response, Japan implemented a negative interest rate policy known as Yield Curve Control YCC, to stimulate borrowing and spending and prevent recessions. Implications for the U.S. economy the decision by Japan to end its negative interest rate experiment has raised concerns among economists regarding its potential impact on the U.S. and global economy. One significant concern is that if Japan raises interest rates enough to be competitive, it may discourage their purchase of U.S. Treasury bonds. Currently, Japan is the largest buyer of these bonds. This could result in price instability and volatility in the bond market. Furthermore, if the U.S. continues to borrow and spend at its current pace, it would need to increase interest rates even further to attract foreign buyers. This would lead to higher debt payments and the necessity to borrow more money, creating a self-perpetuating problem. Counter-arguments. However, there are counter-arguments to these concerns. Japan's high debt-to-GDP ratio and the risk of defaulting on debt payments may discourage them from raising rates too high. Additionally, Japan may be cautious about the failure of its own banks, as experienced in the U.S. when interest rates were raised too quickly. Factors such as the impact on mortgage loans with variable interest rates and the stock market could also influence Japan's decision-making. Conclusion While there are potential negative effects, it remains uncertain how significant they will be. It is likely that the U.S. will continue on its current path, and the situation with Japan may not have as much of an impact as some expect. Nevertheless, it is crucial to understand the potential implications for the economy and the world. As Japan's decision unfolds, it will be important to monitor its effects on the U.S. economy and adjust strategies accordingly. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.